For the past three years, Davis and Hamill have been side by side. And on a team that boasts 25 seniors, these two co-captains are the indisputable glue that keeps Coach Burdett's offensive and defensive schemes together. They have the poise, experience, and talent to dominate and control a game almost single-handedly. I wouldn't want to line up and stare at these guys uh, on a Friday night. They're, again, they're very physical, and they've got some size. Hamill's 6'2", Babe's 6'3", 6'4", 270. Uh, Parsberg High is the most physical team I've seen. That's, that's the reputation of Parsberg High School. Parsberg High School, I believe, is seventh in the nation in most football high school football wins all time. And uh, probably 90% of those wins were because of how physical they were. That's the, that's the history at PHS football, is being a physical football team. And uh, these kids will out-physical just about anybody, I think, from what I've seen. And I like their odds. I like this football team. I know they can beat everybody they play. I'm not saying they will to totally dominate anyone that comes up against me. And, you know, if something happens and I don't make the play, I just tell myself I'm going to make the play next time. So I just try to keep myself, you know, focused on what I'm doing. Don't let anything cloud my mind, like, you know, school or anything outside what I'm going to do later in the evening. Just focus play by play and just get pumped, pump myself up, listen to the crowd, it gets me going, and then just, you know, slap hands with teammates, you know, and we give each other a little, little hit, and we're ready to go. Buy me a brand new car. Baby, now I'm feeling fine. But I called up the law to put me in box, cause I can't get you out of my mind. The way you fuss and fight, the way you say goodnight. It used to be thrills, but now I get chills. And baby, it just ain't right. You better watch yourself. I knew you would The way you fuss and fight The way you say goodnight It used to be thrilled But now I get chills And baby, it just ain't right You better watch yourself Cause there ain't gonna be No, I told you so Baby, I told you so You better watch yourself Over the years, Davis and Hamill have become close friends on and off the field. In fact, observers frequently comment how tight-knit the entire team is. The number of press clippings or Kennedy Award considerations one gets isn't what's important in this relationship. No, it's about team and brotherhood. Each has the humility to recognize that one needs the other to outperform and brutally punish the opposition. Defensively, it's nice to know that you really don't have to worry about anything coming up the middle or a trap because he, he can be counted on and he, he's a real good player and you know that he's not going to let you down. So it's really, it's, um, it helps you focus more on what you're doing because you don't have to worry about, you know, someone else's position. Offensively, um, he helps out the whole offense in that whenever there's short yardage, we're going to get it. <laughs> uh, we have confidence that whenever we're gonna, whenever we give the ball to Babe, that we're gonna get two yards, and th that really helps out in the offense. And uh, having him back there, you can't really key on anybody else because he'll he'll make you pay for it if you take your eyes off of him. Well, Al's a great player, and you know he's really 
I think the, the move from tight end to tailback was really a good, good change for him. He's really picked it up, and you know, he's going to have a real, real good season. So playing next to him, you know, being good friends with him, and then playing next to him, and knowing that if I mess up, that he's going to be there to make the play. And, you know, he's such a good player. He has great instincts and everything, and he's a tough kid. So it's just, you know, I feel proud, you know, to be alongside this group of guys, not just Al individually, but, you know, just the whole group of guys that I'm with. On this stage, the Bruise brothers always put on a show that electrifies the crowd. But they have one goal remaining before the curtain falls on their illustrious careers, and that's a state title. The drive and desire to win it all goes beyond every player's dream to be called a champion. Their motivation is fueled by something greater. Around these parts, it's simply called Big Red Pride. When I first came into the program, I don't think I understood quite what it, what it was to be a Big Red. I, I wasn't, I was, didn't, haven't lived here all my life, you know, and Big Red football wasn't a really big part of my, of growing up. So I didn't understand exactly what it was, but you know, I came in my sophomore year and little by little I picked up on it and it's, it's a really big tradition and it's, it means a lot just to be able to play for the Big Reds. It's mostly about pride. It's real, real big in tradition up here. And you know, just walking out every Friday night and in your pads is the greatest feeling in the world. So I just do it because I'm so proud to be a Big Red. And I mean, I feel like this going through this program, it'll make you a man, is what it feels like. So it's really, it's really about pride and being tough and, you know, just kind of that macho thing. The Babe and Hamill are well on their way to accomplishing their goal and going out on top. But before this final chapter is written, it would only be appropriate that Hamill, like his partner, has a nickname. And who better to give him one? Then the babe. Well, I think the first nickname I could think of would be uh, Nubs because when he was, was it last year, he had two casts, one on each hand, and we always made fun of him for having Nubs. So that would probably be the first one I could think of. So there you have it, Nubs and the babe. The names certainly don't instill fear in the opposition, but just ask any coach they faced this year. Nobody wants to see Nubs and the babe ever again.